people there are friendly enough, Ooh, but something mind. feels off. Oh, they're cannibals! They could... <laughs> they're cannibals! Like, I'm calling it right now! Hello! Hello, 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 everyone! And welcome to the weekly Surviving the Aftermath stream. I am Davide, and together with me today, I have... I don't know which side of the screen she is. That one, yeah, yeah, that one. No, yeah, okay. But, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You, got it. you still don't know. Even I'm with you on the stream and you don't know where I am. My no, God. Like, who, who's talking now? <laughs> who's talking? First thing, we are researching something. Good job, us. We remembered. <laughs> so people will not be at, as mad at us. Yes. Uh, and then I see that we have specialists here. So like we just brought them in. Oh, yeah. We just had a massive drop of food because we're having food issues. Like right. we're getting low. We have now, we're focusing on increasing our healthcare capability in Good Town because we were struggling with uh, colonies getting polluted a lot. Uh, I guess that we have a lot of pollution around us. Uh, yeah, let me see. there uh, might be pollution. one of the wells that it's just smack dab right in the middle of the pollution. Yeah. Well, first of all, we had this brilliant idea to build like <laughs> a bacteriological weapon next to the gate. We as in Davida and Jimmy, I have not, I am not a part of this. <laughs> I, I, like, I like how every stream that I explain the plan the other person goes, I was not a part of this. It was the other person that was on stream mm -hmm. with David that approved of this. And I think that last time we completed the pavement upgrade. So now we can also start building better streets. I'm happy. Can you see that I'm happy? Yeah. <laughs> Dancing does equal happiness. Yes. Oh my right goodness. Here. It's finally happening. You, ah, you've this... overhyped this a lot now, so I it needs to be absolutely beautiful. I want to see, I want to understand where you're going to pull traffic and, and your reasoning well, right now behind getting... this. <laughs> oh, implying there is a reasoning. Okay, yep. that, that, that's, that's very kind of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the place of remembrance, because yeah. we have the first campsite that we built when we started the colony. Yeah. So as we get better housing options, we're going to dismantle these refugee camps here, and they're going to build them somewhere else. And here we're going to build basically statues commemorating the foundation of Kuta. You're going to uh, get super inspired. You're going to walk through the gate, walk past the contaminated poop stations, and then statues. It's a good yes. progression. Yes. Like yeah. you go, oh, this, this town is... Sh oh, awesome, statues. <laughs> and now also like our outhouses are being built. Oh, it's, everything's going so well. Don't, I feel like we're going to jinx it now. <laughs> yep. We just jinxed it. It's going to go bad now. I think the next uh, step would probably be like getting more colonists. Yes, that's that happens organically with the yeah. game. Like as you process, as you continue, like they will show up at your gate. How, so how long does it can? I mean, I guess they can, but can they get pregnant? Can they make yes, a yep. higher pop from pregnancy and stuff? Does that yes, just take can, a long time? You can get babies. Mm. As a matter of fact, at a certain point, those who have been in the early access since the beginning, we had a pro like a problem mm -hmm. where once you got the the two storage how the two story houses, yeah, they were literally procreating like bunnies. <laughs> like it was a non-stop. <laughs> but is that bad though? Is that bad? Well, it was like to the point where people couldn't keep up until they hit the cap. Like it was super fast. <laughs> God. Oh, I love how they glow green when they're irradiated. <laughs> oh no. Like how big of a difference is it to have a specialist in in your colony when when it's being attacked versus if you don't have one? Well, it's a big difference because that's basically your only mean of defense really that you can control. Otherwise, you would need to get the guardians upgrade oh, where you okay. get the guard post and then you need to set up guard posts all across the colony to make sure that you have guarded colonies defending the others. We really hit the <laughs> the cropping feels well. Like, we really managed to say, hey, we don't want to find those when we're looking for them. Let's hide them between trees. Useless. They, I mean, if they're hidden, that means that other colonies can't find them either. So that's good. Oh, no. This, this colonist is going to be... Oh, walking right through the radiation. That's yeah, probably not a great idea. Like, uh, you got to do what you got to do. Oh, they also we... walk through a sort of radiation there a little bit. Well, it's to keep them warm and fuzzy. Come, I really want to. I really want the trade center. Please, can we? Please. <laughs> How much concrete are we producing in the concrete production thing? Well, we're not. We don't have the concrete production. That's um. That's an end game building that oh, we get. Okay. Let me see, like industrial mining. 
-hmm. you have the concrete extractor yeah like here oh, okay uh, yeah, yeah. so for in the early game you need to like manually uh have people going gathering concrete from concrete ruins basically oh, going to old buildings oh yeah got you so soon we'll be able to sort of make buildings well we are able to make buildings already uh we have shanties and tenements but we are lacking in concrete so mm. that's why i'm not placing them because i really want to get the trade center first yeah also i'm realizing that we are not getting as much concrete because um all our carriers are at the moment busy <laughs> Oh yeah, ruins. they're working on that. <laughs> so but it was worth like, it, right? Know, it was worth it. Yes, it's worth yeah. it. Like, yep. Oh, it's building. Oh, that's so cool. The trade center is coming online. Yes, yes. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. And now we can start trading. So, uh, the society Western fulfilling colonies carrying arms openly. Public execution are carried out on the town square for both law enforcement and entertainment purposes. Ooh. That's that's hardcore. Very Do we want people. to train with them? Yes. Okay. Of course. Okay, yeah, you're right. So they have the cattle that we wanted, but mm -hmm. I guess it's going to cost a lot. Like because you need two cattle at least, because otherwise they will not reproduce. Yeah. This is how much the transaction goes, and it means like we have 1917 yeah. silver coins going to them. We can like balance it uh, by also offering products. Them. Yeah. <gasps> we don't build new houses. Yep. We, we wait pray. for the meter shower to end. So if we lose houses in the process, we're good. We're like, aha, <laughs> jokes on you. We don't care. Wouldn't it be worth it to try to get a harvest in before the meteor comes, or will will it not? How fast is how fast are the meteors hit? Well, it might be worth it, but then where's the fun in that? Oh yes. Never mind. You're right. Wouldn't it be good to make the special specialists leave the colony potentially? Can they get killed by the meteors? No, they cannot be killed by the meteors. Okay, cool. Never mind then. All good. What's happening? <laughs> Why is everybody getting irradiated today? Is it because the toilets are so close? Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Maybe. You mean? Oh, here? here we go. Oh. Uh, so far, so sort of good. You just mentioned this. Sorry, I jinxed it. it. I shouldn't you say ah! the Not the path. The building elf. Thank you. The thanks to the new overlay feature Ooh. that was introduced with the latest patch. So we now know that this building is not great, but it's only contaminated, and this one is literally on fire because it he got hit by a meteor. Oh, there is a quest. <gasps> Did you already see the quest, buddy? I haven't. Maddie? So. Quests are a new type of event that were introduced with the last update. Uh, they came out at the end of October. So they have a new floater. And when you get it, they will start an event that is can have multiple steps. Now we'll see which one we got. So we click here. Ooh. And it's your turn to read. A colonist has grown reclusive and melancholic over the last few days. It takes a bit of convincing, but he's finally willing to talk about it. Some Pisha trash raiders attacked my sister's settlement. She was, on she was my only family, and I couldn't do a thing to help her. I couldn't even try to give her a proper burial. The man shouts while trying to hide his tears. What good am I to anyone anymore? The next, the exact settlement his sister uh, perished in is a bit unclear. Uh, but you could look around and give him uh, some peace. We have a special right next to it. Let's go. Ooh. Hope she doesn't die. Oh, God. Okay. Do you want me to read it still? Yeah. Do you want to? Yes, please. So okay. I can drink more water. <laughs> Raiders have left their mark on many villages, with several being either abandoned or straight up burned to the ground. The gate has been blown clean off, and by the looks of it, a convoy of vehicles are torn through a modest set the, the modest settlement, leaving little behind. There are no corpses to be found found though, so either the people got away or were taken uh, taken as slaves. You might be able to scavenge some resources from the ruins, but there's nothing else here. But, I mean, ah. option number two is abandon quests, which feels even more like... Maybe if we scavenge, we'll find them under, like, some hidden junk. Also, the the sister is going to be the gang leader. Ooh, that would be a plot twist. Okay, let's yeah. scavenge and move on. Yeah. I feel like we should let her get back to home to drop off the stuff that she has, and then she can go have fun and at the quest. Because she has so much, right? Doesn't she? Well, yes. I... She has a lot, so much stuff. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Her health isn't 10 out of 10 anymore. 
Oh, we got... Look, we have multiple locations. Ooh! Maybe it's okay, like so... she's in one of those. I think there's only two, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I think that for now we only have two, but we didn't uncover the whole map. So well, let's see what, what happens. Yeah. Uh, I say go back to home location and then drop off stuff and then head out again. Four colonies are homeless, but we are getting the resources we need. So we should have get that covered. Oh, we have very little c concrete here, though. Hmm. There's more. Oh, but there. there is a bigger one here. In the middle of all this pollution. <laughs> this is going to, this is going mm, to go so it's well. It's going to be so great. Love it. Let's, can we look to see if there's pollution in the wells? Because I feel like that's... that's Yeah. See, that well is like inside of the big pollution area. It's right at the bottom right of that small pollution area. This one? Yeah. It's... Yeah, but like it's only polluted 24%. Yeah, I but really it's always like going to... It's going to keep getting... I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if we can build another well then. And yeah, then... I would probably move it somewhere, but that's just me. <laughs> can we get the 100% somewhere, please? Yeah, the 100% was where the pollution was. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, nice. A sudden yell echoes throughout the settlement. A thief! A thief in our midst! You rush to the edge of the camp to see a weather-beaten man running for the woods. A few colonists have rushed after the culprit. What should we do with him? One of them asks. Should we be merciful? Should we be vengeful? Should we be firm? Or should we just ignore him? Like, yeah, no, you're not even worth our attention. So this isn't one of our colonists. It's just it's just a thief from the map. Well, we don't know. Oh, uh, okay. We, we don't know. It could be either just, a colonist yeah. or external. We just saw somebody running away. Be firm. Okay, let's see. No murder. Don't murder him. Don't murder him. You tell the colonists to be fair. They rush after the fleeing man and quickly corner him in a nearby cave, which is filled from top to bottom <gasps> with all sorts of artifacts and knickknacks. No, don't take my treasures. I need them, the man pleads, spit dripping from his toothless lips, his toothless lips into a beard resembling a bird's nest. The colonists take back what was stolen, plus a little bit extra for penance. The man looks generally remorseful. Oh no, I... Uh, no, he, he's remorseful. We should not have taken more. <laughs> Ooh. Approaching the settlement, you, not you notice several buzzing circles slightly above its courtyard. The air is thick, humid, and sickeningly, sickeningly sweet. As you advance further inside, the rancid smell hits your face with full force. Then you spot the first bodies, swollen and covered in blisters. Bandits are not to blame here. The urge to leave as quickly as possible takes over, but it should be possible to find and take something from this disease-ridden place. I don't know. How many tools do we have? 51 tools. Uh, I don't know. We have a lot of parts and a lot of tools. We grab the bucket. Let's go. Yep. Okay, let's go. There was one uh, more below, I think. There was one more quest. Yeah. There is another event. Oh, so... Okay, nothing happened. Yeah. At least for now. Oh, okay. So we don't know if she's super sick or not yet. Are they here? Okay, let's go in photo mode so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can get lower. Lower. Oh. We can get the camera. Yeah, I can see them. See? They're here. Oh, oh, look at that. That's cool. Ah, it's hard to see through the, the trees. But I know yeah, they're there. Have... There, are, there are cows over here. Yeah. There's one here. Yeah. I can see its we head see and legs. Oh, there's the other and one. And the other one is there. Yeah. Cool. More so the good. cows are here. We're good. We got cows. Uh, We have our water well now, which puts us to a production uh, surplus but then the farm is going to request some water mm -hmm. so we're going to like we're going to keep the wells for now and then we'll see if we want to demolish the one that you said it's getting polluted all the time it it keeps huh? getting because it's, it's in pollution of course it's getting polluted all the time but it, it's fine like it's, <laughs> this is how you get sparkly water like do you want flat or sparkly water this flat. is how you get sparkly water <gasps> oh here we go oh. <clears throat> I'm ready. Here we are. I'm ready to read. The third settlement has definitely put up a fight. Burned vehicles are smoldering on the roadside and crows are picking apart the bodies of bandits and colonists alike. Fighting has definitely been the fiercest in the colony center. Going through the bodies, you come across uh, a badly burned corpse of a young woman in her 20s. She matches the grieving colonists' description of a sister. Other well-equipped uh, have, event have eventually slain colonists 
lie around her. Uh, the wages of their last stand. So yeah, I think that overall, like, yeah, that's the philosophy. Like, they don't need it anymore. Yeah. My concern here is we already had our specialist going through a potentially highly infective colony. Like yeah. What's left of a highly infected colony that died because of infection. So the and percentage of success is much lower now? And now we're getting, like, stuff from corpses, which is almost, like, not really sanitary <laughs> safe. Yeah, but it doesn't say anything about any disease or anything, so uh, I say go for it. Yeah. Sometimes it changes, like stuff you get, it changes according to the specialization of the specialist that you have mm, there. So if you have a okay. scientist, like, and there is, like, for example, like uh, a safe, the, the scientist might be able to, like, decode it and open it and get more stuff, while a warrior might be able to just, like, make it explode. So, yeah. like, it also changes the outcome. So That's lose the bodies. Cool. Ah, minus 10 happiness. The gear yeah. seems uh, too valuable to leave behind. You're able to collect several several high-end, if somewhat bloody, pieces of clothing and weaponry. Maybe they'll help your colony avoid what happened here. You bury your sister under... You bury the sister under a large maple tree outside of the settlement and head out. You learn later, while he wept upon hearing the news, the brother has started to recover. Your colonists were not, however... Ple your colonists were not, however, pleased to see your... <laughs> <laughs> you never was a crimson hued, hued loot. They didn't like that they were bloodied. And that's, um, well, that's on them. Well, you like, can I, I wash just, it off. I just, I just want to point out, yes, first of all, like, washing dried blood is always <laughs> difficult. But also, like, blood is not crimson. So, like, when it's dried. Well, yeah. it, it was very recent. <laughs> okay, it was very recent. Also, like, crimson is the most valuable color, like... Yeah. In the Roman time, like wearing crimson vest, it was like you are a big deal. I don't. So why are you complaining again? Like, what? What's happening? So done. <laughs> done. Let's do. Oh it. no, we are a bit sad now. Yeah. Oh, my colonists are the worst. <laughs> like, oh look, free clothes. Oh no, they're oh, red. No, we don't like bloody. red. They don't like the idea that they have to clean them. I think that's the reason. A child, please. A child and a sludge woman approach the game, holding hands. She's obviously in a bad shape and needs medical attention. Please, please, can you give medicine to my mom? The child shouts, voice almost breaking. We're going east back to that, but mom got ill on the way. Pichat, can we please give them some medicine? Please. <laughs> uh, lo look at them, please. Maybe we can also give them a crimson jacket so everybody will <laughs> shut up about those jackets. <laughs> As you hand them, you need the medicine to them. I was going to save them for that, but you should have them. The child says, holding a handful of seeds between his small hands. We need to replace all the corn for carrots. Yeah. <gasps> Buildings are polluted. Oh no, look, look at what got polluted. The well! Wow, I'm <laughs> so surprised! Oh, we're getting... Uh, another bunch of survivors at the gate. Ooh. And they also have a specialist with them. Ooh. Cool. So, let's go. Let's accept them. And now we can also do the next research, which is going to be... I feel advanced like... Advanced farming. Oh, I yeah, bigger to... fields. That would be nice. Yes, and then better sites. To oh, get. faster harvesting. Very nice, very nice, very nice. <gasps> Ooh, oh, another down! Nice. People well, are friendly. The <gasps> They're nice. They're not public execution central. Yes. Nice. I was about to say, this is the first time we see this guy on, on stream. Oh, cool. Visitors agree there is an odd vibe to it. People there are friendly enough, Ooh, but something mind. feels off. Oh, they're cannibals. They <laughs> they're cannibals. Like, I'm calling it right now. Those aren't chickens. That is human meat. And we have sunflower. Oh, they have a lot of interesting What do you get from with. sunflower? Uh, sunflower, uh, you refine it into sunflower oil and you can get fuel out of it. Oh, I In get the it. aftermath, we are very eco, ecologically friendly. Yeah. And then, can we get the cows here, please? <laughs> <laughs> was that you or the game? <laughs> it was both. The, the game did it and then I did. Look, look <laughs> at the cow. She's going. Oh, look at that. Come on, cow. It doesn't have a leg yeah, animation, but that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah there they are. Look at them. It'll be okay. fine. Ooh. A big van, obviously brimming with miscellaneous items and goods, waits you at the gate. 
a man with questionable taste in clothing, and I'm still like highly debating this description because I think that he looks awesome. <laughs> Shout! <laughs> Oi! Heard you might be willing to partake in a bit of bartering. See anything you fancy? Hmm. Honestly, I don't think we need any of these things. May maybe the medicines could be used because we only yeah, have eight. Yeah, it's probably the most useful. Yeah. Let's accept the offer. Yeah. Thank you for this commercial opportunity. I'll be sure to visit again soon. The trader shouts as he packs the van and drives away. Nice. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's it for today. I think that we we did everything we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Nobody died. Very nice. We survived a catastrophe. We have yeah. now wrote, like Actually, they finished building the roads. I We didn't point it out, but they finished building the roads. And they look good. I think it was a great stream. Yeah. For once. <laughs> we managed. We managed to do everything. We even got cows. Oh, my God. So I was successful. Take that, mother. Yeah, here. What I'll, the I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the same thing again. I'll just hold the... Yeah, sit still. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Thanks, Mother, for being such an awesome partner. Are you getting like... No, I was trying to hold it above you. Up on ah. top. No, I'm getting, getting cut off by all the camera cuts. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you next week for the next Surviving the Aftermath weekly stream then. Yes! Until then, take care and play a lot of games. See you later, guys. Bye!